Okay, we are ready to talk about half-lives. So half-lives in radioactivity, any isotope that you're working with, if it's radioactive, it is decaying at some rate. And we describe that rate as its half-life. And so a half-life is the amount of time it takes for half of that material to go away. So we're dealing with a lot of dividing by two here. So today we're gonna talk about how to calculate the number of half-lives um, if you're given a total amount of time and uh, the length of time of a half-life. You can figure out how many half-lives there are. And then we're gonna determine the amount remaining after that certain number of half-lives. Okay, so in this example, how much of a 20 gram sample with a half-life of 30 minutes will remain after 90 minutes. Well, just like kind of thinking about this, you're like, boom, well, I know that's three half-lives, but let's just talk about this for a second. So our number of half-lives is the letter N, that's for the formula, and that's the total time. Maybe sometimes it's not exactly obvious. Total times, that's cool. Total time over the time for one half-life. So in this example, you could do it in your head, but if the half-life is like 2.75 hours, that gets a little complicated. So this would be the formula that you can use. So in this ex instance, we've got 90 minutes total time, and we've got a half-life time of 30 minutes. So let's go ahead and plug that in. So it's 90 minutes, making sure our units are the same, over 30 minutes. And when we divide that out, we know that our number of half-lives related by n after these cancel is going to be 3. So we've done 3 half-lives. So, and if you have a simple problem like this, you know, you could just figure that out in your head. But this is the formula that you can use for examples that are a little bit more complicated. Okay. So the next thing we need to be concerned with is like, okay, that's great. We know that there are 3 dividing three halves going on here. So how do we use that? And so there's this really great formula where we can figure out the amount remaining, remaining, there we go, is the starting amount times the fraction remaining, which is this formula, because everything's being divided by two, one over two to the n, where we remember n is our number of half-lives. So that's what's gonna go right here. And so quick note on exponents, remember from algebra that this is not just like, oh, it's gonna be six, one times two to the three is actually eight, one eighth. 2 times 2 times 2 is what that means. Okay, so using this formula, our amount remaining, because that's how much is being asked for, how much will remain, our starting amount here is 20 grams of our sample. So we're just going to go ahead and plug that in. 20.0 grams. Oh, beautiful. Love plugging and chugging. And then we're going to plug in our N into our fraction remaining formula. 1 over 2 to the third. Keeping in mind, that this means we have three of these. Oops, I wrote a three. I was so excited. Okay, one times two times two times two is actually eight. So if we were to kind of simplify this just a little bit further, we're gonna have twenty point zero grams times one eighth. So really what you can do in your calculator here, it's 20 times 1 divided by 8. Okay, so what we get for that is 2.5 grams. So that's how much is remaining after three half-lives. So that's kind of the formula way to do it. There's another way to do it because we know that we have 20 grams and we know our the time of one half-life is 30 minutes, and we know it's 90 minutes total, right? So the other thing that you can do, and so combining these two with our N formula, that's how we got three half-lives. 
Right? Just as a summary of where we're at. So the other thing you can do is if formulas really aren't your thing, we started with 20.0 grams, and this is at time equals zero. We just opened this jar, and it's got 20 grams in it. And after 30 minutes, we'll have half remaining. After 30 more minutes, and then after 30 more minutes. So for three half-lives, we'll draw three arrows. And then each one of these arrows, we know that the half-life is when there's half left, so we could take each one of these, we're going to divide the number in front of it by 2. 20 divided by 2 is 10.0 grams. So this is after 30 minutes or one half life. And that's what this arrow represents, is the first half life. Second half life happens, and so that's at our total time of 60 minutes. So now we've got 5 grams remaining, so it's half of 10. And that's at two half-lives. And then our final one is going to be half of five, 2.5 grams, and that's at 90 minutes. So if you really don't, if you're not digging the formulas, remember that you can divide by two very easily all day, and you can work out these problems visually instead of using a formula. So I hope one of those methods is really clicking for you, making these pr problems make sense. Best of luck on your exams.